What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So we just upgraded the Magic C C300 hybrid Android TV box from Android 6 to Android 7.1.2. And now in this video, we are going to test the performance and see how well it performs on Android 7. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and previously on Android 6, this box took 36 seconds to boot to the home screen. And now on Android 7, it has taken only 26 seconds to boot to the home screen from a cold start. So a notably faster boot up time. So here is the home screen for this TV box. And as you can see, the design is exactly the same as the previous version, which is fine as I actually like the simple looking home screen. So all the large icons are fixed and cannot be edited, but the bottom row of small icons can be customized to suit you. So system storage information, you have 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are nine gigs free to use. And if we go to about, you will see that this is running Android version 7.1.2. Now let's have a quick look at the system apps. It's quite nice to see lots of popular apps pre-installed and ready to use like Showbox, Mobdro, Mega HD, YouTube, Netflix, and of course the full version of the Google Play Store. So Miracast still works great with my Samsung Galaxy S8. I can mirror my phone content and enjoy it on the big screen. Now on Android version six, we had issues where we couldn't play 4K video samples from a USB drive. Now let's try playing those 4K video samples from a USB drive again and see what happens. So that was 4K from USB. Let's move on to the YouTube test. So the maximum resolution out of the box supported on YouTube is 1080p. Now this TV box can also support YouTube 4K. All you do is head over to the Aptoy TV store and update the YouTube TV app. You will then be able to watch 4K videos on YouTube very nicely and this method now works on nearly all Android TV boxes. So let's move on to the Netflix test. Now previously on version 6 we had issues with Netflix. Errors would keep popping up every time we tried to play a movie. So let's see what happens on Netflix with Android 7. Many months have passed, and now the clan females have returned. Now we're gonna have a quick look at the built-in TV tuner. I remember this being awesome, one of the fastest TV tuners I've ever seen in an Android TV box. So let's see how smooth it is now with Android 7. I mean, that's practically a buy through to the next round. Cool. Right, well. With AI. Bingo.com happily sponsors afternoon entertainment. Ah, yes! What will happen when we have a go at their amazing job? Welcome to the Dr. Chris show. Woman, watching you, kill yourself in there. John, come on. Meanwhile, three US citizens imprisoned in North Korea have been... ...fast, simple, secure way to get money. Lending stream... I also suggest releasing a statement that you are close to identifying the offender. So this box has a triple TV tuner. So that's a T2, S2 and a C. So this box has picked up all my local Freeview channels, including HD ones, and it works very well. You have a full EPG guide, PVR, including timers and many more functions. So moving on to the gaming performance test. <laughs> Yeah. 
So now it's time to check out the results for all the various tests including DRM, Wi-Fi and benchmarks. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018 showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the Magic C C300 has taken position 35 on this chart. Now here is the new top performing hybrid TV box chart of 2018. Now there are not many of them but these are the ones I have tested and as you can see the C300 has taken position 3 on this chart. You can view all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the Magic C C300 Hybrid Android TV Box Revisited with Android 7.1. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So here is the before and after of the pros and cons. So this will tell you that the issues that we had on version 6 are totally resolved in version 7. But also it brings an overall boost in performance. The box now feels like a contender, it's much more stable and faster than before. So by upgrading to version 7 you will get a faster and smoother running box, no more compatibility issues with anything, however the box is no longer rooted once you upgrade. Now for me it does not make a difference as I don't need a rooted box, Showbox, Kodi and others still work fine so it's all good in the hood. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.